time to install Java. This one is also very easy. If we were using a 32-bit Linux, we wouldn't need to do this because there's a version of WebLogic that has Java bundled. But to the best of my knowledge, there's no such bundle for 64-bit OSs. Uh, so open a terminal and log in as Oracle, then navigate to the directory we copied the installers before. But before we start the installer, run the xholds command as root to enable Oracle to create a window from command line. Use dot slash to execute the JRocket installer as I show you here. Click next on the welcome screen. Accept the default installation directory and click next. That's going to be our Java home. We are going to create an environment variable for this directory immediately after we install JRocket, so it may be helpful to copy and put it somewhere handy for later use. There's no need to install any of the optional components, so just click Next here. And that's about it, just wait for the installer to finish and click Done. Now let's create that environment variable I mentioned before. Open gedit as root or oracle and then open dot bash profile and add the java home variable as shown here. Do the same thing for .bashrc file and we are done with Java. On the next video we'll install WebLogic.